Hello, uh, this is Kilo Papa for Tango Radio. Um, producing this video uh, just to demonstrate a little project I worked on recently. Uh, the intent here was to uh, minimize the remote rig as much as possible so that it's uh, make, make it as portable as possible. I'm doing I'm uh, doing an upcoming trip soon, so I just wanted to make my um, system as portable as, as possible. Just want to show you what I've done. So we have here the remote rig connected to the front panel of a uh, TS uh, or TMD 700. This is actually the the RC 200 panel, and we have the remote rig. And what I want to show you is I have this currently set up in my living room. Um, just to show you, this system is currently wireless. Uh, if you look back here, I have a Netgear a WNCE 2001 wireless bridge. And if let me just go back here, you'll see that it's connected directly here to the remote rig, to the Ethernet port. I made a very short cable. I, I didn't want anything too big. And, you know, I have the power cables, a you know, little just two uh, uh, wall warts there one for the remote rig and the other for the net gear I wish the net gear would have been a 12 volt adapter that uses 5 volts so that's the reason I have to use two, two uh, transformers um, so going around here another thing uh, other than the wireless uh, connection which uh, I don't have to connect directly to a router the other thing I also did here is that I don't have any speakers. The reason is because what I've decided to do was take a speaker from a Yesu HT. Actually, this isn't made by Yesu. This is one of those aftermarket ones. I I bought it on eBay, and uh, it it was designed specifically for Yesu. But what I've done here is that I modified it so that it's connected directly to the remote rig. I chopped off the connector and wired a modular 8-pin connector and internally uh, the connection to the speaker is coming out through one of the pins that the wiring is currently not using. It's This remote rig is wired for Kenwood so I'm using pin number 2 I believe um, for uh, speaker audio and I'm just using the regular uh, Kenwood pins uh, for the wiring but what I've done is I chopped off the connector past the audio into the speakerphone and I had to modify the speakerphone internally because this particular model didn't have a line for a, a push to talk so I um, mod I had to you know do a little surgery on it internally to get the PTT working so now what I have here let me uh, since I'm holding the camera here. I'm going to turn on my remote rig. Okay. And I'm going to raise the volume here. There's nobody talking right now. Let's open the squelch. And if you look at here, I don't have a speaker. The, spe the speaker is actually my HT. So, or the speaker phone. So, uh, all I have is the front of the panel, the remote rig, and my speakerphone, and the wireless connection. So, this is a repeater in Puerto Rico. I'm sorry, let me go to... Here we go. This is a repeater in Puerto Rico, so they're talking in Spanish. This is uh, KP4 Tango Golf who's talking, by the sound of his voice. So, yep, KP4TG. Okay, ah, pues, se llamo ya mismo. En Cape 4, Chale Farrell. Okay, so, um, so, so basically, uh, what I have, let me get a little bit of volume here. So, I have here is the speaker mic, and, uh, and I can, you know, talk through it. I don't need a speaker at all, so that just makes my system very, very portable. And, you know, with the wireless connection, all I need to do now is uh, kind of design like a little briefcase or a little laptop bag, maybe for one of those uh, net netbook, and 
pack it all in there and now I have a completely uh, a portable system so uh, anyhow if you need more information on how I did the project I can you can just uh, send a message here <clears throat> through YouTube and I'll, I'll I can give you some uh, project details this is Kilo Papa 4 Tango Radio Tampa Bay Florida